from the moment the Marine Corps officially created a force reconnaissance unit in June of 1957. These elite Marines have executed some of the most dangerous missions in U.S. military history. Recon, as we know it today, really had its origins in the late 50s and early 60s, and so its first operational deployments were in Vietnam. The missions in Vietnam are like the archetype of what we think recon missions ought to be. In 1965, the United States Marine Corps sends its newly minted special operatives on their first deployments deep in the jungles of Vietnam. That was kind of the birth of helicopter-inserted, clandestine, foot-mobile reconnaissance, whose mission was to locate enemy forces and then call down um, supporting arms on. Hey, uh, my buddy wants an airstrike in at... Uh... They were in first, they were out last, and they managed to keep their story very, very quiet the whole time, which is what you would expect. They're Marines. The new recon unit's patrols are completely different from standard Marine infantry operations. Infantry units are designed to go into battle, but recon Marines are meant to gather intelligence and avoid engaging with the enemy. That's why a recon unit is so much smaller. The unit size is five or six or seven people. So it's a different way of doing business. It's definitely dangerous to go out with less people. Going out with six guys in the, the closest quick reaction force to you is 30, 40 kilometers. The level of potential danger kind of sets in rather quickly. And, and if it doesn't set in on that first mission, then you're either, you're either bad crazy or a whole lot of stuff doesn't phase you. 